limitations of octet rule. Octet rule is useful in explaining valences in number of cases but it has many exceptions. First point is formation of hydrogen molecule. H2 molecule. Okay. So here hydrogen molecule and each hydrogen atom contains one electron. Okay. So it needs only one more electron to fill the shell. Okay. Like this. So this will be the electronic configuration of hydrogen molecule. So instead of octet it needs only two electrons to complete its shell. This is an exception from the octet rule. Okay. So uh, with two electrons this hydrogen molecule gets stable configuration. Next second point is Formation of molecules with incomplete octet. Second point, formation of molecules with incomplete octet. That is example, lithium, beryllium, boron, etc. Okay. In these cases, the octet rule is not applicable for the covalent bonds of lithium, beryllium and boron. Example, lithium chloride. Then, BEH2. Then, BF3. Here the lithium atom contains only two electrons in its valence shell after the formation of covalent bond. Okay. So here in this case beryllium contains only four electrons in its valence shell after the covalent bond formation. Okay. Here boron contains only six electrons in its outermost shell. So these, comp these uh, atoms lithium, beryllium, boron etc form incomplete octet. This is the second exception. Okay. Third point, formation of molecules with expansion of octet. So, octet rule is violate in certain compounds like PCL5, SF6, etc. Okay, so elements beyond third group in the periodic table, uh, certain compounds are produced which violate the octet rule. Okay, we can draw the Okay. This is the Levy structure of PCL5. Okay. So here chlorine, chlorine atom in all the all the chlorine atom. Uh, which uh, uh, which follows the octet rule. But in the case of phosphorus, it contains 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10 electrons in its outermost shell. Okay. So, it violate the rule. Next, S sub 6. Here also we can see that Sulfur contains 12 electrons in its valence chain after the covalent bond formation. Okay, S of 6. So, 12 electrons. So, this also violate the rule. Then, there are lots of other examples. In the case of H2SO4. H2SO4. 1, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12 electrons in its outer motion. 
okay so this also violates the rule but in some cases sulfur obeys the octet that is example ESCl2 here it follows the octet okay fourth point formation of compounds of xenon and crypto noble gases like xenon and krypton contain stable electronic configuration okay eight electrons in their outer motion for so they are monoatomic but actually they form compounds covalent compounds with oxygen and fluorine okay covalent compounds with oxygen and fluorine examples examples are xcf2 then xcof2 krf2 etc are examples okay point formation of odd electron molecules in case of some molecules they bonded with other atoms contains odd electron odd number of electrons so after bonding they contain odd number of electrons and these molecules are called as odd electron molecules okay these molecules are known as odd electron molecules example no then no2 etc this here this octet rule is not satisfied n here this nitrogen atom contains 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 electrons in its outer motion after bonding then no2 Here, this nitrogen atom contains this bonding two, then three, four, five, six, seven, seven, seven electrons in its outer motion. So these molecules are not satisfying the octet. These are some of the violations from the octet rule. Also, this theory could not explain the shape of molecules. Could not explain shape of molecules. Then. another thing is it could not explain the stability and energy of molecules the stability and energy of molecules these are some of the limitations of octet okay